Well, good morning and welcome to uh, today's Advent reading. Uh, today I'm going to be reading uh, Luke's account of the encounter between Mary and Gabriel and the story of Jesus' birth. And that'll be from Luke chapter 1, beginning at verse 26 to verse 38. So I invite you to hear. It says, In the sixth month of Elizabeth's pregnancy, God sent the angel Gabriel to Nazareth, a town in Galilee, to a virgin pledged to be married to a man named Joseph, a descendant of David. The virgin's name was Mary. The angel went to her and said, Greetings, you who are highly favored. The Lord is with you. Mary was greatly troubled at his words and wondered what kind of greeting this might be. But the angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary. You have found favor with God. You will conceive and give birth to a son, and you are to call him Jesus. He will be great and will be called the Son of the Most High. The Lord God will give him the throne of his father David, and he will reign over Jacob's descendants forever. His kingdom will never end. How will this be, Mary asked the angel, since I am a virgin? The angel answered, The Holy Spirit will come on you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. So the Holy One to be born will be called the Son of God. Even Elizabeth, your relative, is going to have a child in her old age, and she who is said to be unable to conceive is in her sixth month. For no word from God will ever fail. I am the Lord's servant, Mary answered. May your word to me be fulfilled. Then the angel left her. Friends, I, I know we're familiar with this story, and uh, we hear it often, at least every every year at Christmas time, and even, even Charlie Brown has, has uh, used this text. But this morning, as you reflect on this text, I want to invite you to consider this question. When was the last time you experienced God coming to you and saying, I, I believe you have what it takes. Um, that's what's happening. When Gabriel comes and encounters Mary, the, the news that he is, is sharing with her is, Mary, God believes you have what it takes. God has confidence in you, and I'm inviting you to reflect as we continue in this space of waiting. When was the last time you heard God say, I know, I believe you have what it takes? Not only that, I'd invite you to reflect at the when was the last time that when you heard that from God, you responded like Mary, Lord, I am your servant. May your will be done through me. Father, we pray that we would be a people during this time of Advent and this time of waiting, that our response when we hear from you, that we have what it takes, that we would have the confidence to say, Lord, I am your servant. May you have your way with me. It's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Friends, it's been good to be with you again this morning. I pray these devotionals are speaking to your heart and they are preparing you for this season of Advent. Until we meet again, be blessed and be a blessing to others. Take care.